this video, I'm going to show you how to check a capacitor with the voltmeter. Now, the first things first, once you take off a capacitor off your condensing unit, which this capacitor came off of a condensing unit, the first thing that you want to do is grab a screwdriver and you want to do what you call discharge the capacitor. The capacitor holds capacitance and it will hold a charge and it will shock you if you touch these terminals with your fingers. So the first things first, after you take off the capacitor, get your screwdriver and touch all the terminals together, just like so. And th that way you will discharge the capacitor. Here is a blower motor capacitor and you want to do the same thing. Just touch your screwdriver to both of the leads. Now as far as the meter goes, you want to make sure that you have your meter on the right setting. If you notice there's different settings on this meter right here and for this meter to be able to check capacitance this is the sign right here that you want to put your meter on. Not all meters will be able to check capacitance. Before purchasing a meter, if you want to check capacitance, you want to make sure that it is able to check capacitance. So this is the sign that you want to look for. Next, go ahead and turn your meter on to the setting. I'm going to turn my light on here to where you can see. The next thing before you do any checking on the terminals here is you want to look at the nameplate right here. I went ahead and wrote in magic marker what this capacitor holds and it's 55.5. It kind of wore off and that's why I wrote it down with the magic marker. Some of them may be different. Some of them may, may say 65 uh, or 75, but somewhere around up in that range, 45, 5, etc. The higher number is your compressor, which also stands for Herm. The lower number is your fan, which stands for fan. It operates your fan motor. The next thing that I do is I grab my terminals here. I'm gonna turn the light on here to where you can see it. Looks like it turned off. It doesn't matter which terminal you use, either the red or the black. First thing you wanna do is stick a lead inside of the common, like so. Notice how you don't see any readings yet. Now, here is the fan, fan lead right here. I'm going to stick a terminal right in here. You want to make sure it's good. And notice how it says 4.990. And if you remember right, when I mentioned the nameplate over here, the 5 is the fan. So the fan is good. It's reading 4.99, so you know that that's good. Now I'm going to check the Herm, which is also another word for compressor. I got one lead right here in the common, and our numbers that, we're, that we want to look for is around 55. So I have one lead in a common right here. And then I have one lead in the Herm, which is compressor. Make sure everything's in there good, hold it. And notice how it says 52.67. You know that this capacitor is good. Generally, what you wanna look for is plus or minus 10. If it's minus 10 from this number here, which is 55, then you know it's time to replace your capacitor. That is a very simple way of checking the capacitor on your condensing unit.
Now we have another capacitor here. This capacitor operates the blower fan motor. You check this in the same way at the same setting on the meter. Now some of the newer fan motors have a capacitor built into the fan motor which is called an ECM. It has an electronic control module. Those are more expensive to replace and they are costly as far as buying the part. But a lot of the older units have this type of capacitor. On here, you'll see a 10. It says MFD, which stands for microfarads. This is very simple as well. Grab one of the leads, and it does not matter which side you put on the terminals here of the capacitor. Stick one in here. Be sure you got a good connection. And stick one in here. Now you notice it says 9.90. .90. This capacitor is good. That is how you check a capacitor. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. If you are looking for a good meter, I highly recommend the Klein Tools CL700. It has rubber gripping on the sides. Everything about this meter I love. I've used different type, types of meters before in the past. And this one, as far as budget friendly and durability, I highly recommend it. I do recommend using a case for this meter but anyways that I just wanted to show you how to check a capacitor the easy way